Welcome to worship. My name is Pastor Megan, and on behalf of our community here at Family of Christ, I welcome you to our Wednesday nights in Lent. Our theme for these Wednesday nights is Purple Theory, where we are exploring spiritual practices or spiritual habits and routines. Habits and routines are things that help us to stay tra on track in many areas of our lives. They are things like our school schedules or our morning routines like getting up and brushing our teeth and making breakfast. These habits and routines help keep us healthy and happy. And did you know that as Christians, as people who believe in Jesus and God's love, we have habits and routines too? So on Wednesdays in Lent, we are exploring several spiritual habits and routines that can help us feel closer to God and to our church family. Today, we are going to explore the spiritual practice of prayer. We'll talk about why we pray, where we pray, how we pray, and everything in between. So come, let us worship the God who listens to our prayers. Let us worship our holy God. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people
Hey God. It's me. I guess I had a pretty good day today. I got to go on a two hour walk with Nissa, my puppy. Ugh, she is such an incredible blessing, God. Thanks for bringing her into my life. Um, I also got all my homework done today. There was some that I really didn't want to do and it was so boring. But I knew that you were there with me, cheering me on. So thanks. God, there is actually something that I'm kind of worried about. You know, my uncle fell down the stairs a couple weeks ago and he had to have knee surgery. He's at home in bed right now and I can tell he's just really sad. So, can you please be with him? Can you send him a little extra love and hope this week? Because I know he'd really like that. And I'd really like that too. Oh God, sometimes I wish that I could just sit like this with you for ever and ever. Thanks for being a God who listens. Amen. All right, I'll be perfectly honest. I don't have God's phone number. If I do, I'd be ordained by now. But God doesn't have a phone number, guys. God listens to us in so many different ways through prayer. And so there's no right or wrong way to pray. It's just whatever you like. Sometimes I like pretending that I can at least text God. I like seeing the words come out on the screen because it makes it feel more real for me. Some people like to pray to God in nature because that's where the God feels most real for them. When they can see the trees and the animals and everything that's beautiful that God has made. Sometimes people pray by journaling. They'll just sit down with a piece of paper or a blank notebook and write out what their thoughts are to God. Sometimes people even imagine what God says back. Prayer also doesn't have to be something where we're doing all the talking or all the writing. In fact, it really shouldn't be. Prayer is a time for God to communicate with each of us as well. And so that's why when we pray, we can sometimes even just sit in silence. We don't need the words. In fact, we don't need to do anything at all. There's no right or wrong way to pray. But prayer opens us to the opportunity for God's Spirit to come to us, to be with us. In fact, we can read about this in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 26 to 28. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is in the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. So prayer is really a beautiful moment to be with our triune God, our God of three persons, God the Creator, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. And there's no right or wrong way to pray. It's simply a beautiful time to be with the Lord. So this week, as you're enjoying your Lent suppers, I invite you to talk about the topic of prayer together. In fact, I have three specific questions for you. First, talk about how do you usually pray? Do you like to just pray before bed? Is there a specific prayer that you recite over and over again? Or do you make it more of a conversation like we talked about tonight? 
The second question is, do you like to pray? Is prayer something that fills you up and that energizes you? Or is prayer maybe something you struggle with a little bit? And finally, what new way of prayer can you try this week? What's something that you haven't done before? Have you gone for a prayer walk in nature? Have you sent a text message to God? Maybe it's journaling. Or hey, maybe it's even praying with somebody. So often we pray by ourselves, but there's such an incredible power and strength that comes with being with another person during that moment of prayer, of talking to God together. So I invite you to try a new way of prayer this week. I invite you to open yourself up to the Spirit and give God a chance to work in you. Amen. An angel went from God to a town
because sometimes when it comes to prayer, we don't always know where to start. Since there's no right or wrong way to do prayer, it's sometimes difficult to just get going. So if you need that little extra boost, I invite you to read about the Lord's Prayer in your Spark Story Bible. Or to go in the actual Bible as well and to take a peek at what the Lord's Prayer is. Sometimes when we don't have the words, we can always just use the words that Jesus gave us. Or we can enjoy the silence, knowing that God's Spirit is with us too. So as you go forth for this week of prayer, I invite you to go forth with this blessing. And as I say the blessing, please repeat it back to yourself, replacing all the you's with me's or I's. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the face of the Lord shine on you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless our God.